Hi, I'm John Nicolaitis, the CEO of Bridge Housing Limited. Uh, I just want to tell you about a few exciting uh, policy changes that have occurred at both the federal and the state level on housing policy since January this um, th this year. At the federal level, the government has uh, released its affordable housing discussion paper and it shows the re-entry of the Commonwealth Government back into uh, back into housing policy while the entry point is looking at a financial aggregator to see how we can raise funds the consequences of this policy will be f more far-reaching because it will start to have to have a discussion around what we call the housing policy architecture and the relationship between the Commonwealth and state government uh, and for the community community housing sector, this could mean the re-emergence of the Commonwealth to play a much more, uh, a much greater role in uh, the regulatory regime for community housing because essentially that's the only way we're going to get uh, more private finance into the, uh, into the sector. At the state level in New South Wales, uh, we've had the announcement of future directions and the Social and Affordable Housing Fund. I mean, future directions will be a major game changer for the sector, um, particularly because 23,000 properties will now be transferred to the community housing providers. While we don't know what the nature of those um, management arrangements will, will be, the fact that the providers will uh, now be controlling up to 35% of uh, social housing in New South Wales uh, makes us a much more significant, uh, much more significant player than we've been in the past, and it will mean we'll need to be involved in uh, at a much greater, greater level around overall planning for for, for social housing. Uh, within that program, uh, we know the Communities Plus seems to be the model of, of choice at the moment, which will um, give community housing providers a role in undertaking redevelopment of smaller land sites made available by the, by the Land and Housing Corporation, and also being able to partner with, uh, I think, major infrastructure players around some of the larger sites, um, for example, the Ivanhoe Estate at Macquarie Park, and uh, we've also had the announcement of the Waterloo Estate. And of course, there's a social and affordable housing fund. You know, the state government is going to invest $1 billion uh, and in stage one to deliver 3,000 uh, properties. Um, uh, what's interesting about that policy will be the community housing pro providers w will play a key role, particularly around delivering housing management services, but it's also critically important that we're involved in the asset management in whatever consortia uh, will be developed around the uh, around that fund. What I would be hoping for is in the stage two, we also look at some further innovation around the fund where we may be looking at a, f a financing model that will attract institutional finance into the, into the sector. But I think overall, we're living in much more exciting times and I think the future for bridge housing and the community housing sector is uh, very bright.